everybody, Mr. Martin back again. Uh, I'm going to run you guys through the free program that I've put up here in the weight room. I've posted it on the wall near the uh, near the lat pull down, and it's just going to stay here. And if anybody needs a program to run, then they can come over here, take screenshots or pictures or whatever of this program, and you can run it again and again and again, and it'll work every single time. Okay, so. I'm gonna go through these points up here, which kind of highlight different things that are important about the program. Also down here, I, I had to extend the paper a little bit. So, this program, the style of programming I'm, I'm using is called, what I call volumizing. It's just increasing the amount of work that you do over time and adding weight slowly over time as well. So, number one, adding volume and adding work over time is how you get bigger and stronger. It increases your work, your work capacity which means the amount of work you can recover from. It sets a foundation for heavier training, so it builds a foundation of muscle and strength and technique because you're getting a lot of touches on the barbell, you're getting a lot of practice. So adding a lot of muscle mass and getting uh, refining your technique is gonna build a good foundation for pushing your strength really high. Squat twice a week, bench three times a week, and deadlift once a week. These are my general recommendations for how, like your frequency per week. Uh, you might be able to get away with benching twice a week. I, I benched twice a week for a long time, but I, I believe three times a week benching is the key to um, increasing your bench by a lot. Deadlift, if you're a weak deadlifter or you're um, a smaller person, you just can't lift as much weight, you might be able to push that up to, to twice a week, but I really wouldn't worry about it. The final point for this one is add one to two accessories per day. So if you're squatting, do one or two squat accessories. If you're benching, do one or two de or bench accessories and the same thing for deadlift. You wanna add accessories that complement the lift that you're trying to get. I would add one that's a direct complement and then one exercise would be a back exercise. So like a dumbbell row or the lat pull down or a chin up or something like that. Because when we add accessories, that's just gonna help you build up muscle mass and workload in, in other important areas and it's gonna help round you out as, uh, as a lifter. So down here, every fourth week, do a three set, a three by eight, so three sets of eight with minus 5% that you're working with for the block. So here, week one, you're working with 65%. Week four, you do a three, a three by eight with minus 5%. So you go down to 60% from 65%. And the reason we do this is because this is general generalized for everybody. So you could extend it by one or two weeks if you really, really wanted to, but this is what I call a deload. This is where we're taking weight off of the bar and we're decreasing the volume. So this fourth week is a week for your body to catch up and recover from the work you've been doing. And it serves as a transition into the next block, okay? So you do three sets of 10 at 65%, four sets of 10, five sets of 10. Week four, you bump the volume down and then you move up another two and a half percent and start over with the three sets of 10, four by 10, five by 10 again. So you can pretty much rerun this over and over and over again until it stops working. That's really what I would recommend doing, especially if you're a more beginner lifter. I would stick with the higher volume, I would stick with getting a lot of practice under the barbell, and I would just run it until you can't run it anymore. So every fifth week, so one, two, three, deload. Week five, add two and a half percent, okay? So one, two, three, four, deload on week four, and then week nine, which would be over here, it's not over there, would be 70%, okay? So when you do this, you're adding weight slowly over time, you're developing mastery of the weight that you're using, and you're getting a lot of practice on the barbell while building a lot of muscle mass at the same time. Now, if this is kind of popular and people like this style of programming, I like it. It's, um, it, it's very simple, but it works, and that's, that's the reason why I like it for a lot of people because people who are not as experienced, if you give them a really complicated program, they're A, not going to need it, and B, they're going to have a hard time understanding it and doing what they actually need to do. So keeping it simple and sticking with the basics is gonna be the best way to go. You could drop this down to sets of eight if you really wanted to. So like do two blocks with tens and then week nine, drop it to three sets of eight instead and add 5% maybe instead of two and a half percent because you're dropping the volume at the same time. So you're gonna be a little bit stronger and you're adding weight to the bar already. So if you wanna do eights instead of tens, instead of resetting and going 70% with three by 10 on week nine, do week nine, go three by eight with 72 and a half percent. And then you do four sets, five sets, or three sets, four sets, five sets, but you're doing eights instead and then you deload. And you can do that again if you want to. I would, if, if you guys are very beginners, I would stick with this. Do it for as long as you possibly can. 
that'll help build a good foundation of muscle, and it'll help you guys put, uh, um, help you guys trim down a little bit if you have some body fat you want to lose, because the sheer amount of work you're doing is a lot. Five sets of ten is a lot of work, especially if you're doing that two, two and three times a week for different lifts. So, this is the free program. It's up on the wall. If anybody needs help um, running this thing, please just let me know. I'll be in the weight room every day, um, and I will be more than glad to help you. And if you guys want to move on from this, or if you want me to show you how to progress this a little farther and, and drop the reps a little bit, I'll put up another paper. Or if you guys want specific coaching for you, please let me know. I don't charge money for, uh, for coaching high school students. So anybody who needs help, we'll talk it out, we'll come up with a plan, and then we'll get you rolling in the right direction, okay? Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you guys have a good day. And I'm excited to get this place open. Hopefully, it'll be open either this week or next week. I'm not 100% sure yet, but... As soon as this place is open, I'm excited to get you guys back in here. So, have a good day.